hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is ellie and today's video is going to be my february reading wrap up so i am actually filming this on the 27th of february instead of the 28th and i am still currently reading two books but i know i will finish them today or tomorrow so i just thought i would film this early then at least i will get it up on time the first book that i read in february is scandalized by ivy owen i actually really loved this book i wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as i did i finished this within 24 hours this is the story of georgia and alec georgia is a journalist and she is on a flight which then gets diverted i believe it was due to bad weather so they have to stay the night due to bad weather so she is stuck in seattle for the night so everyone off the flight rushes to a hotel to try and get a room she is in a queue and there are no rooms left but in the queue is also Alec who turns out to have been her childhood best friend's older brother and as they kind of know each other they decide they might as well share the room but what Georgia doesn't realize is Alec is now a famous film star and because of this their careers kind of go against each other where she is a journalist they set themselves two weeks and within this two weeks they will just spend all of the time together and then just move on it was quite insta love which i don't tend to enjoy but i felt in this story it did work the next book that i read i say book because it was a bonus chapter but it's released as its own kind of book but that is seth on the moon by caroline peckham and susan valenti this is a novella like i say it's just like one chapter i think it was about 36 pages but it is book 5.6 in the zoe academy series again i can't really say too much about this one because it was only 36 pages so i feel if i explain it it's just going to give away the entire thing but i think the name gives it away anyway seth goes to the moon if you haven't read any of the zodiac academy series there's not really any point picking this one up i will admit i was a little underwhelmed with it because i thought it was like a novella it's going to be at least 100 pages so when i downloaded it and found there was only 30 pages it was a bit like oh okay i did enjoy it the third book of the month was an audiobook which is rough and that is by Renee Rose and Vanessa Vale. This was included in my Audible subscription. This is the story of Boyd and Audrey. Boyd is a bull rider but he is also a wolf shifter. And Audrey is a doctor and she is at one of his bull fights if that's what you call them. And you know she's just kind of on call in case anyone gets hurt and at the start he does get thrown off and she runs out to help him but because he's a wolf shifter he has already healed and he doesn't want her to notice that so he comes up with a plan as she wants to keep checking in with him to make sure he is recovering that he needs to distract her from the fact that the wound is no longer there and he thinks that flirting with her is going to be the best way to do that but initially i did think there was going to be more of the wolf shifter kind of thing to this but it didn't really talk that much about it until towards the end it was a cute story between the two characters but overall it was just kind of like an okay read i didn't love it i didn't hate it but it was just nice to listen to in the background whilst i was doing other things then i read final offer by lauren asher this was one of my highly anticipated reads for 2023 so this is book three in the dreamland billionaire series i was really looking forward to this one as cow was my favorite of the kane brothers and this book did not disappoint initially i was a bit worried when i got my copy and saw how long it was there are over 500 pages in this i think it's nearly 600 altogether i was a bit worried of the fact that a romance book that long that it was going to be repetitive or i would get bored with it but i did not i absolutely loved this one i don't know whether it is my favorite in the series it's definitely between this and the fine print but I really really liked the relationship between Cal and Alana and I loved watching their friendship kind of redevelop. I felt it was the perfect ending to the series and I liked how the other couples from the first two books in the series popped up throughout this as well. It was nice to kind of see how they were getting on and how they would also interact with Cal and Alana. I'm sad this series is over but I'm really glad that I loved this as much as I did. Book number five this month was one I read on Kindle Unlimited and that is Thin Ice by Cassie Min. I I've seen this novella recommended a lot on booktube and i just thought i would give it a go and 
I did like it. I cannot remember the names of the characters off the top of my head, but we have a figure skater and her coach, so it is forbidden in that aspect. It's described as a steamy age gap insta love story starring a stern coach and his off limits love. So it was a fun little read. I sat and read it all in one go. I think it was under a hundred pages. Like I said earlier, I'm not a huge fan of insta love, but I think with a novella you kind of know that's gonna happen but yeah again i find it really hard to kind of wrap up what happened and how i felt about a novella without giving everything away book number six i picked up tattered stars by katherine cows this author again is another one that's been really really hyped on booktube and booktop and i'd kind of been putting it off for a while just because it was so hyped up but i was just in the mood for a small town romance so i picked it up and it did not disappoint and i can definitely see where this book has so much hype so it's a small town romance and we follow Hayes and everly when everly was a child something happens and she then leaves this town but she comes back years later as she wants to redevelop the site that was her childhood home into an animal sanctuary and Hayes isn't best pleased that she is back due to what happened there when she was a child. It was not anything that was her fault, it was something that her father did that directly affected Hayes and his family. Hayes is also the sheriff of this town and things start to happen to young women so whilst Hayes is looking into that he also starts to develop this kind of protectiveness over Everly because she is living alone on this land from there their friendship and relationship grows I'm definitely going to continue with this series book number seven I also listened to on audible which was included in the subscription is lead me back by cd reese so this one I don't know if I was just distracted whilst I was listening to this but I found myself confused because I didn't think the description of the story matched up to what the story actually was, but that might 100% be on me and that I wasn't listening fully when I was taking in this audiobook. But this is the story of Kayla and Justin. Justin is this big pop star. He was in a boy band and he was caught with one of his bandmates wives and he has to clean up his act which is where Kayla comes in and she becomes his new assistant. So again this is where I got confused because I felt that she wasn't really acting like his assistant throughout this there's this whole thing where she gets a new number and it's his old number so like people are contacting her thinking it's him and that's like the only thing i got from it that she was his assistant because she was like taking his calls for him but i didn't feel that she was like doing the job role of an assistant if that makes sense and towards the end you do go into more about what actually happened with Justin and his bandmate's wife and there's some miscommunication and things in there. I I did like this book but like I said I was confused with it which is why I think I only gave it three stars because I didn't feel it was exactly how it was described but that might have 100% been my fault. The next book I read was Desires Unraveling. This was actually a book that I applied to read the arc of and I really enjoyed this one. Again I gave this four stars. This is the story of Mariam and Bruce and Mariam is very much a just go around have one night with a guy and never see him again that's just kind of how she prefers to do things and she meets Bruce they have this one-time thing but he wants a little bit more he does really like her but she is like it can't keep happening because that's not me they meet up again at a wedding and the story is kind of told from dual timelines so you have the current day and then it dips back to previous meetings before where they are now if that makes sense which I did feel really added to the story because you got to see the build up behind how they were feeling now. This is a part of a series and it did end on kind of a cliffhanger so I'm excited to see how this story will continue between the two. There was some spice in this, all of the characters were really likeable and I'm thankful that I received a copy to review. Then the next book I read was A Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong and I was 100% not expecting to love this book as much as I did. I was hooked from the minute I started reading this and also the cover of this is gorgeous. If I take off the dust jacket, just look at that. 
and this is also signed by the author as well so just everything about this book is perfect to me in this story we follow rosalind an experiment was done on her which basically made her immortal so she's using all of the abilities that she now has to become an assassin for her country but people are starting to grow suspicious of her her boss puts her with this other spy called orion and says they have to work together and pose as a married couple to continue with what they are looking into and this is also part of the series i didn't even realize the second book was out until i saw it on the shelves at the weekend and i had to restrain myself to stop myself from buying it because i already spent too much money on books this week but i don't usually tend to like this kind of story this kind of genre with buys and mystery and things but I just really liked this. I really enjoyed the author's writing. I know her other book, These Violent Delights, is really popular and I haven't yet read that, but it's really encouraged me to pick it up after enjoying this one so much. I just really enjoyed the characters and the story kept me gripped. Then I listened to another audiobook and that was Make It Sweet by Kristen Callahan. This one is the story of Emma and Lucian. They are both celebrities. Emma is an actress and Lucian is a hockey player. After Lucian has an accident on the ice he has had to step away from his career and Emma has just been axed from her character on the show. So she has to step away and she arrives in California to stay at Lucian's grandmother's retreat I believe it is. Lucian is quite a closed off hero but eventually he does open up to Emma. It was a really sweet story. It involves lots of baking as well and I just really enjoyed it. Then I read Latte Darling by SJ Tilly and this is a book that I had been seeing recommended a lot in some Facebook groups that I'm in and I just decided to download it one day and I was pleasantly surprised. This is an age gap romance. We follow Maddie and at the start of the book she is stood up on a date. This guy sits down and introduces himself as her date's dad to say that he is basically grounded and would not be attending tonight but he is there instead and he intends just to go there just to apologize for his son not being there but he ends up really liking what he sees she is 31 and i believe he is 50 something early 50s they just have this instant chemistry she is worried how his son is going to react because obviously she was originally supposed to be going on the date with him this is spicy i literally i think i read this within 24 hours again i really really enjoyed this then the rest of the books are physical books so i read two books by lauren lane the first one was made in manhattan and the second one was you again these are both set in new york which is the top destination on my bucket list at the moment so i've been really loving reading books that are set there so the first one i read was made in manhattan and this follows a violet she is basically the it girl around Manhattan. Kane comes along as he is basically going to inherit his family's company and wealth. He is from Louisiana and they are just complete opposites and she is tasked with bringing Kane around New York and getting him to settle in and learn what life is like in New York and just basically getting him up to scratch he can be ready to step in for the job but he's not 100% sure if he wants it because his family haven't been there which is all explained. Yeah this was just like a quick fun read I liked Violet and Kane and You Again was kind of similar so this one is Mackenzie and Thomas however Thomas is Mackenzie's boss. At the start of this book she is sat in a bar on a dating app where she declines Thomas not realising that he is sitting next to her so he witnesses this happening and calls her out for it and after that they meet on the first day of work and she finds out he's his new boss and then they meet again when we find out that her best friend and his brother are getting married so it's just a series of coincidences of them bumping into each other and they don't really like each other at first just because their initial meeting was her rejecting him on this dating app i think i did enjoy made in manhattan a little bit more i did find this a bit slow towards the end but again overall these books are like 250 pages so they were quite easy to sit and get through then i finished reading twin crowns this is by Catherine doyle and Catherine weber this is the book that me and my best friend have been reading for our book club i actually finished reading this this morning and this is our first book that we've both had mixed reviews on so she 
absolutely loved this book she is already rereading it straight away after finishing it and I did like it I think one of my issues with it may have been this is YA and I haven't read a lot of YA recently so in this story we follow Rose and Ren they are twin sisters but Rose does not know that Ren exists they have lived separate lives and Ren wants to come back and take the crown from Rose. So Ren and her grandmother hatched this plan to get to kidnap Rose and the princesses can then switch places so then Ren can kind of infiltrate the kingdom and become the queen again and get everyone that was exiled back into the land if that makes sense. Now, I did like the characters of Rose and Ren. I did kind of just find myself at some points unmotivated to read this. As the book did get on I was finding myself being more shocked especially what happened in kind of the last 30% of the book. I wasn't expecting it. There are three books in this series. I believe the second one is out and the third one is coming out. I probably will continue this series because I know that my friend will be so we'll probably continue reading them together. So now on to the last two books so they are both the ones that I am currently reading at the moment. I'll talk about Dark Fae by Caroline Peckham and Susan Valenti first because I'm pretty much almost done with this one. So this is book one in the Ruthless Boys series, which is also set in the world of Solaria like Zodiac Academy. In this book, we follow Elise who attends Aurora Academy to try and find out why her brother died, who is responsible for his death, where she meets the four kings of the school. So I will say I've also read Kings of Quarantine by these authors and I am finding a lot of their books are the exact same thing just written differently like the characters are the same and the premises are the same they've just got different names and looks but I did really like this anyway I know this is probably going to be another five star read for me even though I haven't finished it at the moment I think I prefer the entire Zodiac Academy series over this but again I will comment on that once I complete the Ruthless Boy series so I can really compare the two but it was funny seeing the characters in here as younger versions if we have met them as their older selves within Zodiac Academy series but yeah I really really like this one I have the second book ready to go next month for as soon as I finish this one so then the final book I'm reading I think I am 50% of the way in so I will probably finish that one tomorrow and that is Present Perfect by Julie Olivia this is a book two in the Fox Hill series I have not read book one but this just popped up as a recommendation on booktube and I thought I would download it this is a student teacher romance but it's set in college and I don't know if I'm confused with this just because I'm from the UK and don't understand how American colleges work but she's his student but she's also his intern at the same time which I don't really understand how that works but as I say I'm only like 50% in so I can't give a full review on this book at the moment but this is Delaney and Asher so as I said she is his student intern and Asher is the professor he is teaching poetry and she finds that boring so I feel like he is determined to prove to her that there is more to poetry than she thinks where I'm at now their chemistry is starting to build up but obviously none of them want to act on it because it will be crossing the boundary but I'm going to assume that they are going to cross that line within the next couple of chapters and something is going to happen between them yeah i'm liking it so far i've never read any other books by this author so far it is quite tame compared to other student age gap romances that i have read previously but i feel like it is going to be the perfect book to end the month with so they are all of the books which i read in february i already have my eye on a few of the books on my shelves to pick up in march i think i'm definitely going to get to the second book in the Ruthless Boy series. I'm also very tempted to pick up Zodiac Academy, The Awakening as told by the boys. I'm also thinking I might start the Kingdom of the Wicked series. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you've read any of these books or have any recommendations, then please let me know in the comments down below. But I will see you again next week.